Today I'm going to show you what is quite possibly the best beginner spammer in WFAB. Let's get right into it. Hello everybody, my name is Shudas and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make an awesome beginner noob spammer slash submarine. This thing is seriously awesome. And I did some testing, it will actually target other low profile spammers. It's so good. So, to get started, obviously, holy spice plank, rotate that a little bit. We're gonna put two down, then we're gonna go to armor, get some golden hair. One, two, three. Then we need to go to wood. Put a spice plank there, that is incredibly difficult to say. Go ahead, delete the spice plank, and we just did this to make it a bit easier on ourselves. And and we need to go ahead and compress this wood so that we don't have to worry about it any later on. And to compress it, I'm actually going to use an auto clicker. Remember, there's always a link to my auto clickers at the in the description of this video or th these videos. So I've got it set to click every 45 milliseconds. It's on repeat, and it's going to click 29 times. Let's go ahead and activate it. And then we'll do that again. And then over here, we don't need a lot of clicker. We're just going to do it nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very easy, very simple. I'm actually going to go ahead and sell this over here so you guys can see that it's 80 spice flanks that we've got placed down total. 80. Then we can go ahead and delete these golden hair armors down there in the middle. We're gonna put one directly under here, like that. And then we need to go to seats, get our seat. Rotate that by pressing Y once. Or you might have to press and hold shift and then press Y so that it does what you want it to. As you can see, that's where we want it. And you're probably wondering who Obunga Life is. Well, it's just me. I made this alter count a little bit ago. I just now realized I could use it for WFIB. I was actually using it to mess around in this one game. Prison life, I think it's called. But we're not worried about that. We're worried about this. So to actually get an alt account, if you don't know, yep, this is Microsoft Store. You go to search, Roblox, and yes, that is my face. Face reveal, about two pixels. <laughs> Roblox, and then right here, you can see I already have Roblox installed. Oh, uh-uh, you're not, no. I already have this Ro Ro Roblox installed, but somehow you can actually run it as a different client which means that you can just make an alt account, which is also super easy there. Then have it shoot out your cannons, or you can have a friend do this. Doesn't really matter either way. Let's go ahead and move back to the main account. And yes, I do have them both on max graphics, but if your PC can't handle one account on max graphics, it definitely won't be able to handle two. So just turn on your graphics, and it shouldn't really lag for you. Now let's go ahead, get some golden hair armor, and we're gonna go down eight times. One, two, three, four five six seven eight delete all of these stay on the outside so you don't delete the seed by accident because that is a pain to restore i'm gonna go to weapons old cannon and as you can see it is very very low into the water if you want you can make it go lower into the water but because the ship doesn't have a gyroscope you can't guarantee that it will always be firing and that can be the difference between defeating and not defeating someone so we're not going to go any lower than that. Now we're going to go ahead and have our alt account shoot off this cannon. Then we'll have our main account place the cannon back. And we'll just do this eight times. Now, if at the end of the match, you didn't get all the cannon shot out, that is completely fine. All you need to do, press Q, and then don't repair your boat yet. You just have to wait another round so that you can shoot out the last cannons or whatever you missed. And I actually need to wait, so I'll get back to you guys once we've waited. All right, so we've got our cannon shot out. That's eight. We're not gonna do 10, we're just gonna do eight because you can't really shoot more than eight cannons. And with a normal spammer, you wanna have 10 cannons for balance purposes. But for this one, we're not gonna do 10 cannons, just eight because submarines need to be as light as possible. For armoring this, we're going to actually build up 8 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Press C, and you can see that our cannon still isn't completely covered. 
and this is where things get interesting because after this point you can really choose any way to armor you're pretty much good to go but what i'm going to do is actually put a bit of golden hair in here so let's get that a little bit mm -hmm, like that and most of the time i'll just actually just stack a bunch of these on top of each other but that is really really heavy and with submarine you want to you want to try not to use as much weight and that's better i think i can just put a few golden hair squares on top of that you know it's funny because i've been working on this video for about a week now an entire week straight and i still haven't figured out how to nicely armor this freaking thing uh. all right now let's go ahead repair the boat oh yeah let's go ahead and also start armoring now if you don't have the small golden hair armor yet that's fine, you can just use squires temperamentally, or, as I said in a previous video, you can use a small steel. But I'm gonna use small golden hair because it's pretty realistic. Let's go ahead, press control to toggle high precision mode. We're gonna build off right into here. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side. And over here, just to save up a little bit of time, we're just gonna kind of speed run it. And you can even go into normal precision mode when you're placing them like that. Anyways, let's go ahead and we'll put two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, two, one, two, one, two. And boom, there we go. We've got the side armor for our wood complete, but now we got to worry about the top. To do that, we're just going to use a normal piece of golden hair armor. We're going to put one here on the, at the back, and we're going to go up here to the front. Then we're just gonna build one, two, one, two, there we go. Let's go ahead, turn off the trigger bubbles. And yes, I should have noted that noted um, told you this earlier, but you need to have the trigger bubbles off to actually do most of this stuff. If you don't have the trigger bubbles off, you're gonna have a bit of a difficult time. But then yeah, ten thousand dollars for a nice submarine like this, I'm not gonna complain. But yeah, let's go ahead, put down a metal cabinet. Let's actually get under the ship first. Metal cabinet, hop into our seat, delete the metal cabinet. And as you can see, we've got an excellent submarine slash spammer. As always, I recommend that you guys try to do different things instead of, you know, just perfectly following my tutorial. I mean, if you can do that, if you want to. But I always encourage you guys to definitely try to do something a little bit different. If you want, you can lower the cannons, but you might have inconsistent firing rates. If you want, you can move the sea, but, you know, you know. You can armor the cabin differently. I might have done that if I had a bit more time and if I wasn't so basic, <laughs> but whatever. As you can see, you are definitely very protected, not with just the cannons in your face, but you've got all that armor surrounding you. And this thing isn't really sword proof, but if someone comes up to you and they're gonna try to sword you, well, you can just dive. <laughs> Silly. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it was a bit of a weird one. But I've been working on this video for an entire week, just making sure that the submarine is as good as it can be. And remember, this doesn't have a gyroscope, and it's the stable. Love you guys so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye!